Pro Football Focus also ranked the top offensive play callers. Uh, Matt LaFleur, Packers, number one. Brian Dable, Bills, number two. Andy Reid of the Chiefs down at three. John Gruden, Raiders, number four. Joe Brady from the Panthers, number five. And Byron Leftwich of the Buccaneers, number six. Uh, so Kevin Stefanski not on there. And I mean, I, I know Byron, Byron Leftwich is a good coach, but he has Tom Brady at quarterback. And Matt LaFleur has Aaron Rodgers at quarterback. Look no further than Adam <laughs> Gase when he was uh, w- when he was the offensive coordinator with Peyton Manning, and find out what that happened when Peyton Manning went away. All of a sudden, he became a terrible play caller. Well, I, and I'll say this: I'll give Matt Lafleur a little bit of credit when it comes to the the balance and the fact that they've actually been able to give Aaron Rodgers a run game for you know the first time in his career. And when's the last time that we said that Green Bay Packers had a solid run game? So you know, being able to utilize that, I'll give Lafleur some credit. I take some issue with four, five, and six. I think four with Gruden. I think we're going based on namesake here, to be quite honest with you. I think that Gruden does a solid job. I don't think that he's a top five play caller. And Joe Brady, I think that, you know, he was a solid offensive coordinator. He was great with Joe Burrow down at LSU. But at the same time, have we seen that the NFL? He had Teddy Bridgewater as his quarterback. And obviously he had Matt, he had uh, Christian McCaffrey, excuse me. So all of a sudden now we kind of just go ahead and forget about that and you know how he was able to perform these past two years and the other part that I look at is you know where's Kyle Shanahan you know I mean Kyle Shanahan was just being lauded as an offensive genius two years ago and all of a sudden he has one down year and all of a sudden he's off the radar so I, I think that Kevin Stefanski deserves to be right there I'd love to see who's seven eight nine and ten but at the same time I think that you know Stefanski deserves to be up there but I also think that they're missing a couple other names on there, too, including Kyle Shanahan in San Francisco. Yeah, and, you know, it's important to note when you mention, you know, Kyle Shanahan, there was a, a freakishly amount of injuries that derailed right. them uh, a season ago as well. 